boys and girls and welcome back to my virtual classroom how are you today good that's great me and big boy Isaiah are doing fantastic we look forward to um, doing these videos with you every week and so for today we are going to be reading a story and this book is called Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons now before we get started with this book, what do you notice about Pete the Cat and his buttons? For instance, what color is Pete the Cat? Yes, Pete the Cat is blue. And what about his buttons? His buttons are red, green, and blue, right? And what about his skateboard? His skateboard is red, right? So throughout this story, I'm going to be asking you a few questions and I want to see if you can answer them, okay, about Pete the Cat. So I want you to be paying attention to his groovy buttons and his cool skateboard and we'll go from there, okay? Are you ready? Let's get started. Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons. Pete the Cat put on his favorite shirt with four big, colorful, round, groovy buttons. He loved his buttons so much, he sang this song. Mmm. My buttons. My buttons, my four groovy buttons, my buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. Look at those buttons. Do you notice what color his buttons are? Red, green, blue, and we have another sort of blue up here too hmm let's see what happens next if I could turn the page pop oh no one of the buttons popped off and rolled away how many buttons are left so if one popped away, how many buttons are left? If you said three, you would be correct. Three! Nice job! Because four minus one equals three. We do it with our hands, right? We have four fingers. We're going to take away one. And then we have three left. Nice job. Let's keep going. Something's up with this book or my nails or something. Three. Groovy. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song, though. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. He has three buttons left. Let's hope another button doesn't pop off. Oh no! Pop! Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? That's right. If you said two, you would be correct. Two, because three minus two is, I'm sorry, three minus one is two. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. 
he kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons, my buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. Ice cream pop. Oh no. Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? If you said one, you would be correct. One, because two, take away one equals one. So if we have two fingers and we take away one, how many do we have left? One, nice job. We're getting some math into this lesson. Did Pete the Cat cry? Goodness, no, Cause, because buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my one groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my one groovy buttons. Pop! Oh, no. The last button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Zero. Did Pete cry? Goodness no. Because what, you guys? Buttons come and buttons go. Pete looked down at his buttonless shirt. And what do you think he saw? That's right, no buttons. His belly button. And he kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons. Still have my belly button. My button, my button. I still have my belly button. It's all good. I guess it simply goes to show that stuff will come and stuff will go. But do we cry? Goodness, no. We keep singing. The end. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for tuning in and listening to our story on Pete the Cat and his groovy, groovy buttons. I hope you were able to learn something about Pete the Cat and his buttons. I really want you to take away from this story just what Pete the Cat said at the end. Sometimes things come and things go, especially the stuff that we love, right? And that's okay because what matters is the things that you have, okay? You have your family, you have your friends, you have me. We're not going anywhere, okay? And those are the things that I want you to take away from Pete the Cat and his buttons. Also, the colors. Did you notice that in the colors, that the colors on his buttons, one by one, they kept popping off? Pete the Cat didn't cry. He didn't get upset because maybe he knew he could get a new shirt and or he could maybe, maybe the buttons were found by one of his friends who probably needed the buttons a little more than he did. So it's those little lessons that I want you to take away from this story. As always, it's, I'm, it's so great being here doing these activities and videos for you and with you. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Hopefully we'll be together again. But until then, stay safe and stay healthy. I miss you all. Bye.